Hello everybody! This is Stranger Gamer back for the very first four matches of my grand tournament! <laughs> Actually, first three, because it's three, not four. Anyway, we have our opening match of the tournament, where it's the host Stranger Gamer facing off against Ultimate Dino King. Ooh, what a match it's gonna be! And without further ado, let's get on with it! Right, let's begin! <laughs> and up first in the red corner for our host we have Alpha Chasmosaurus. With this beat, the poison type boy. The Gatling Spark could be too lethal. Electric charge is electric charge and well, counter blitz could be critical here. But in the blue corner we have Brachylophosaurus. The ultimate Dino King, but an unusual choice I'll admit. Anyway, moves. Well, we don't need to go through the moveset because I'll pop the moves up in English. But yeah, beware of that move breaker could be quite annoying. Along with Emerald Garden and Nature's Blessing for good healage. Uh, yeah, it should be a good match. Ooh, I'm well, gonna starting off with a hit. Not too much damage dealt. Ooh, the stranger responds with a crit! And an Emerald Garden gets triggered. That's quite good for us, but can we get it off? The answer is not yet. But the move breaker does nullify the Gatlin Spark. Ooh, another tie, which means Scissors is going to get nullified. That means Electric Charge and Gatlin Spark is gone. But Stranger still strikes back with that crit. And another Emerald Garden has been triggered. And Ultimate's gonna need it. Oh, poo poo, I clicked scissors paper. Okay, he would have won anyway, so I clicked scissors. And it's gonna be Emerald Garden, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, Emerald Garden coming in clutch, preventing the Brachylophosaurus from dying. Uh, how much health will this steal? I'm um, quite a bit. And all of a sudden, with a nature's blessing as well, Ultimate Dino King is in the lead. Whoa, crucial Emerald Garden there. Oh, not really, because <laughs> Stranger gets off Gatlin's Spark, but he's going to kill the Brachylophosaurus anyway. <laughs> Ooh, just when you think the match swings one way, it swings the other. And Brachylophosaurus goes down. And up next in the blue corner for Ultimate, we have Super Tala Rubber. He seems to like using the sky. And yes, I think it's the same moveset as last time as well. Yes, beware of that tiebreaker, especially when Super Tala Rubber is in his awakened mode. Could be useful. And it does have the type advantage over the Alpha Casmo, so I expect the Alpha Casmo to die here. But it did serve its purpose. And yet, Alpha Chasmosaurus is going down. So it even Stevens, both competitors down to their second dinosaurs. And as for Stranger in the red corner, we have Mega Raptor, of course. Mayfly could be very lethal for Tararara. Along with Dino Illusion and Cyclone, making things a bit more awkward. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been an even match so far. It's swung back and forth just when you think one player has got the advantage, the other one robs it away. Ooh, Mega Raptor gets the first hit. Not too much damage, no surprise here. Ooh, we start with a tie. The Quake Saber gets triggered. Ooh, the Talaroas comes in with a tiebreaker and a paper attack. Not too much damage. Ooh, Dino Illusion getting triggered. Twice. Ooh, Dino Illusion here preventing the Mega Raptor from being damaged. And it's going to be Awakening time. Elemental. Could be the turning point of the match. Oh, it is also who gets the hit. I think Mega Raptor's dead. 
Okay, maybe not, but an Earth Barrier is tightening Ultimate Screw on this match. And I feel like Ultimate Dino has just turned the screw on this match. Ooh, there's a Tappy Jar of this, stopping the damage from Mega Raptor. Tie will not work. Neither will that, and all of a sudden. Ultimate Dino King has a crucial lead going into this point of the match. As Stranger's third Dino comes in, the Super Baryonics. But don't underestimate this guy. Softening Beam. Nullifying the tie effects. Shockwave and Ocean Panic getting rid of those pesky moves. <laughs> But I really, I really need to kill this thing. And this Earth Barrier still protecting it as well. Ooh, good hook from Stranger coming in. But again, Earth Barrier. Dark Punch. No shock break. Oh, it's Ocean Panic time. And that is going to be Night Night to Tala Rose. Ooh, the Baryonyx remain relatively unscathed in battle against Talaroas as the both competitors are now down to their last dinosaur. Ooh, it's going to be down to Acrocanthosaurus now for ultimate. The Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. And the drag for his sake, he has no fire dino fire moves because if he did, the Baryonyx would have the edge. But instead of Barry having the edge, Acro just edges it. It could come down to the awakened mode for the Barry. Three more appearances and it activates. Ooh, we start with a tie. Oh, a softening beam. It's a dino stuffer. I forgot about that. <laughs> dino stuffer stopping that softening beam from activating. But Stranger 2 got two more of them and he'll be awakening time. Now they did it. Oh, disaster for the Barry as a crit comes in from the acro and attack boots the boot. And all of a sudden, things looking bad for the Barry. Still in it. <laughs> I get nervous here. Yeah? Oh no, it's over! And the Baryonyx goes down. And the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus proving too strong. Ah, if only I had the Awakened mode. Then Ocean Panic would have activated and he would have died. But nope, it wasn't meant to be. And just like in my last tournament, I lose the first match. Right. On to our next matchup, which sees Tor taking on Ibuki. Alrighty then, our next matchup sees Tor taking on Ibuki. And at first for Tor, we have yet another Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Can you chop it on a drink? <laughs> and yeah, same moveset as last time, so nothing new here. But the difference between this one and Ultimate is that this one does have a fire move. Can it? Will it be costly? Well, it won't be in this matchup because in the blue corner it's one of three lightning dinosaurs for Ibuki, the Zuni Ceratops. The purple sheep of the Ceratopsids. The counter blitz could come in very handy here, along with Plasma Anchor and Thunder Bazooka for the And this could be an interesting match, and you'll see why, because Tor's third dinosaur is a water dinosaur, which will have the disadvantage against all of these dinosaurs. I feel like it comes down to how well Alpha Acrocanthosaurus and Therizniosaurus does. We'll start with a time. Ooh, not a good start for Tor, as it's a Thunder Bazooka off the bat. Boosh. Not a good start for Tor, but a good start for Ibuki. Get a lucky 7 tap activated. Oop, another tie. Ooh, the plasma anchor from the Zuni Ceratops. And I probably say Ibuki is pretty much on top so far. 
Get in the only hit to the match. Alpha Aqua really needs to strike back here for Tor. I forgot what that does. I think it lowers his technique. I mean, Alpha Aqua only has like 300 technique anyway, so. Not good for Tor. Ooh, a tie. Ooh, the Zoomy Saratops gets a hit though. But, a uh, second for Tor, we have a Veradzuma Sword. Our Claw Blade is, could be highly lethal here for Ibuki, but this Fairy is pretty much everything for Tor in this matchup. If the Fairy does well here, then I can see Tor winning, but if it doesn't, well, I can only see one winner, and it's not Tor. Sorry, Tor. Ooh, but the fairy does get the first hit. And Tor finally strikes back, dealing a decent amount of damage there. Ooh, but the Zuni Ceratops strikes back with a crit, dealing a sizable amount of damage. Not good for Tor there. Oh, we have a tie. That is good. That's a tie bomb exp. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's disaster for Tor as a Thunder Bazooka activates. And Zumi Ceratops could put Ibuki 2 0 up here. Wow. A Spinosaurus is coming in next, so I think Ibuki's going to win. Oh, that could be huge for Tor. A big hit on the Zumi Ceratops taking it out, but the next Dino in is even tougher. It is the Pentaceratops. Um, I don't remember what type of fire this one. I think it's Hunter type. I'm not too sure. Actually, it might be Titan. Anyway, it doesn't really matter because Roar is in trouble here. If the Pentaceratops kills the fairy, which seems quite likely, the Spinosaurus will have to come in and defeat two lightning dinosaurs. Which is not an ideal thing. And there goes Therizinosaurus. Oh, well, that was not good for Tor. And up third, as I mentioned many times, a Spinosaurus. And he's really going to have to pull his finger out here because he has to defeat not only Pentaceratops, but Super Triceratops coming in third. Can it do it? Can it pull off the upset? Or can I quickly close out this game? I mean, the way it's going, my booty might get a bonus point. Uh, yeah, I think my booty's gonna win. <laughs> Sorry, Tor, but you're not winning this. Ooh, Aqua Vortex though getting triggered. Could come in handy. Nullifying all those moves, and that will rob the Pentaceratops of its type advantage. But no chance of Aqua Vortex actually, because Pentaceratops is having none of it. And yeah, I think this is game over for Tor. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> wow, wow, a dominant display from Ibuki and a bonus point win over Tor. That could be huge, especially in a group of death. Any bonus points could come in very handy. <laughs> and Super Triceratops wasn't even needed. Ooh, that could be a big win for Ibuki over Tor. And that puts pressure on Tor now. As, in, as her next matchup is against me. Anyway, I'll update the table and we'll move on to our third matchup. Alrighty then, and in the red court, our next final matchup for this first round match as a group A is Team Primal Carnage going up against Connor Temple. And at first for Carnage, we have the Alpha Dilophosaurus. Alpha Dilophosaurus because it's poison type and the Dilo in the Primal Carnage is venomous. But yeah, I just don't underestimate this guy. We'll have the attack advantage early on against this and not a Titan. Um, yeah, I think this is guy's type recovery type, so could get some feeling in a tie with a bit of metal wing to boot. Bing, bing, bing. Um, yeah, given how the first two matches have gone, definitely a good opportunity here for Connor Temple to get an early win on the board and put pressure on, on myself and Tor. 
and the fact that we gotta play each other next round, so me and Dawn play each other next round, so could be a good opportunity here for one of these two teams to lay down a mark. Start down with a tie. And up is the tower recovery type test dimension. Healing up the Anata Titan a little bit. Ooh, but the Anata Titan does get the first hit. But as you can see, it does, does little damage because Dilophosaurus has the top advantage. Ooh, but Dilophosaurus does strike back. And look, look at the difference. That's not even a crit and it did a decent amount of damage. Ooh, but the Anata Titan strikes back with Metal Wing. But again, with the tight disadvantage, even a Metal Wing might not do that much damage. Yeah, not too much damage. Ooh, oh, but the Anata Titan does get a crit. Wow, well, did that, well, Metal Wing did more damage. <laughs> but... Not a Titan is in the lead. So you can't take that away from it. Ooh, might not be for long though, as it's recovery time for the Dilophosaurus. And there's the poison as well. Oh, look at that. All that hate feedback. All that hard work from the Anata Titan under. And a gesture at it as well. Almost takes out the Anatta Titan and turns the match on its head. And while the poison does nothing, the Anatta Titan's already on its lowest point of HP. Ooh, another crit from the Anatta Titan. Again, not too much damage. But the nature's blessing. Wow, that's, that is absolute garbage. And look at that, poison takes it away already. <laughs> the poison Titan nullifying nature's blessing. Ooh, a tie, which means that Nata Titan is going down and the Alpha Dilophosaurus takes the lead for Primal Khan. But it's going to be tough because next up for Common Temple, we have the Giganonosaurus. And this Giga is a beast because it has that Magma Blaster, a very deadly move with Giga, along with Volcano Burst to add extra damage to the fire. This Giga could be very deadly. Given that there's two winged dinosaurs in, in Team Primal Carnage as well. And yep, the Dilo lasted two seconds against the Giga and goes down. Ooh, that could have been crucial though, because if the Dilo got hit, the recovery would have activated and pretty much restored most of his health. Anyway, up next for Team Primal Carnage, we have Closer all of us. But representing the Primal Carnage team, we actually have Overactor with Egeta and Pteranodon away. The Proterolophus is quite an attack-minded dinosaur here, so the Giga has to watch its back. But that was quite a good grind, the first, the first match. Here we have the second Giga taking on the Proterolophus. Ooh, the Proterolophus gets the first hit. A metal wing coming in with the Pteranodons. Decent amount of damage done to the Giga, but it is counter type, so when it gets off that Magma Blaster, it's going to do an ass ton of damage. Look, like this. Wow, this is going to do a lot of damage. Oh my god, he almost killed it! Oh my god! The Giga almost killed it, one it? Wow. See what I mean? Lots of damage. And all of a sudden, the Giga is in the lead and in control. And Connor Temple has turned this game on its head in one move. But at third for Team Primal Carnage, we have Super Sorotosaurus. But again, against the Giga, it's still going to be at a disadvantage. So. Connor Temple is in prime position here to take it to win his opening game. Uh, yeah, I think the Giga's gonna win. <laughs> Firebomb here, gonna do a lot of damage to Ceratosaurus. Uh, 
I have two attacks, Ooh, the Ceratosaurus does get a crit off, and it is awakening time next round. I don't know if the Ceratosaurus would want to do that, though. But we'll just have to see. Ooh, we have a tie. Oh, the Giga almost died in the tie. And another tie, which does take out the Giga. But I think it ends awakening mode, unfortunately, for Team Primal Carnage. Oh wait, it does Anyway, up to the Quirkon attempt, we have Spinosaurus Dino Tactic. Or, as I like to call it, Spino Tactic. That tragedy of the... I think it's tragedy of the... Yeah. No, it's from Tava Cannon, isn't it? Anyway, moving on. The Spinosaurus Tactic is gonna be dead now. Oh yeah, we still get Awakening Mode. Nice. Oh, but the Spinal Tactor does get the hit, unfortunately for the Super Ceratosaurus. Dino Illusion does get triggered. Oh, 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 oh Shockwave. Shockwave, though, is not going to help his cause. And, as our rules, the Spinal Tactor will be going for rock. But we can't go paper. Can't go paper. Can't go paper. And it scissors for Ceratosaurus, but the Dino Illusion will keep it alive. But still in this, we did deny the on a Tampo a bonus point wins. Not all Doom and Gloom for Primal Carnage. But the Spino Tech that is going to take out the Super Ceratosaurus and lead Connor Tampo to an opening win. Uh, an important three points, I guess. Tough matchups for Campbell coming up. So yeah, good, good to get a win on the board. You know, only some would have got a win, because I didn't. Uh, right, I'll update the table and we'll have a look at the table so far for Group A, and then we'll end the session. Um, okay, so Group A is sorted out, and as you can see, we have Ibuki... Ibuki... I'm just going to say Ibuki. We have Ibuki top of Group A with, a, with that bonus point win over Tor. And then we have Connor Temple and Ultimate Dino King in third after after opening the their campaigns with wins. And as for Team Primal Carnage, myself and Tor, we got no points. But for the next matchups in Group A, see Ibuki taking on Team Primal Carnage, Ultimate Dino King taking on Connor Temple, and me taking on Tor. I feel like this matchup is going to be quite big, with both of us failing to win our opening matches. The loser could be playing catch up very early on. I feel, yeah, this is definitely a massive game. Even at this early stage, I feel like this is a very important game. Just to not play catch up, because you don't want to do that. I mean, Ultimate Dino King had to play catch up last time, and he almost got knocked out of the group stage. So, there we go. <laughs> Little bit of a jab, because he beat me. <clears throat> anyway, stay tuned where we kick, for next time, where we kick off Group B's opening matches. And until then, this is Strange Gamer signing out.